Hi everybody, Carla Nicole. So um, I wanted to talk today about the importance of intimacy. Um, there was a post the other day that asked what's more important, faithfulness, loyalty, or int intimacy, which is sex. And um, mostly all that spoke on the, on the post said that it was uh, loyalty, and faithfulness and um, not really too many people said it was sex so I wanted to talk about it really fast because I think this is very very important and it's extremely um, necessary to talk about the sex issue um, you know a lot of people have issues with the topic sex uh, you know my thing is you know without it your relationship is not where it needs to be um, you know a lot of people want to talk about how important it is to get married but um, you know unfortunately I have seen more people um, in relationships and it's just in name only so they're married yes legally but a lot of times uh, you find that they are having a sexless relationship through the courses of the years you're going to find other people you're attracted to that is what it is and at that time you can make a decision to be intimate with that person or not and it has nothing to do with the fact that you love that person or not it could just mean that there was an attraction and it's no you know reflection of how they love you it just may be an attraction but you know I've known and seen more relationships especially marriages go through infidelity and stuck through it and with it even though they had issues and problems and guess what they got back together and once they went through that storm and turbulence and went through some heartache and pain guess what happened they ended up being like oh my god the intimacy is still here because it's stronger now sex is a need sex is a need just like thirst rest I mean hunger those are things you need in your life so if you're going to spend, you know, multiple days about, well, I don't want to have sex until we're married. Let me tell you something. You don't want to have sex until you're married. Well, guess what? A lot of marriages aren't having sex. A lot of pastors telling you to be abstinent aren't having sex in their marriage. So get off of it. Like quit talking about intimate sex as only the only way to be with somebody. Understand sex is what it is. It's a, a human need. But the problem is we have so many issues on sex. Well, if he sleeps with someone else, I got a problem. Or she's with somebody else, I got a problem. Well, then there, what's the love, really? Because there's going to be a lot of times your person that you're with disappoints you. Well, are you, being, are you so caught up in I can't have sex unless I'm married that you are being abstinent because you believe that that's the only way you can have sex? then you're really shortchanging yourself. And don't take me to be Miss Ungodly. Hey, I'm a very spiritual woman. But at the end of the day, sex is a need. And if we continue to be on this platform of, oh, I got to not be sexual. I got to not be sexual. You guys are taking your, your what is a human need to an extreme. But when you are in a relationship and you want to have a long term with that person, you are going to go through some challenges. You are going to go through him being attracted and you being attracted to other people. That's just the reality. Does that mean he's uh, uh, disposable? Does that mean she's disposable because of some kind of, you know, interaction she had with someone else or he had with someone else? That's silly. When you had 10 years, I'm seeing people that were together for 10, 20 years and leaving. What is going on? And I said it before, a lot of us are spending too much time about, well, he had sex with someone else or whatever. Detach from it. 30 days. You find out your dude is cheating, okay. 30 days. And I'm talking about 30 days and doing nothing. You can't move, you can't make a decision for 30 days. Why? Because in 30 days, it may not be as impactful as it was day one. Gentlemen, y'all know, and you know, most of my, most of my following are men. Y'all know it is heart wrenching for y'all to deal with a woman that cheats. I want to give y'all 30 days. But if someone is seeking intimacy with someone else, nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, it's because something is lacking in the relationship somewhere. 
It doesn't necessarily mean it can't be repairable. Just because you're in a boat and you got a pinhole, you don't try to fix that pinhole. You're just going to let that stuff just fill up to where you're sinking? No. You're going to try to figure out what's the resolve. Well, how can we get this to, you know, to work? How can we figure out how we can repair this? But so many people think relationships are disposable. And that's not why. This is why marriages look like this. This is why marriages are not staying together. Because if, if our partner or our lover disappoints us, we have to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm throwing you away like a like a throwaway pop can. That's not fair. That's not fair. And we all make mistakes. And ladies, just because you know you are uh, faithful doesn't mean you're an angel. I said that before. Just because you're faithful doesn't mean you're an angel. There may be some things you're doing that is causing a discord between you and your mate. You could be nagging him. You can maybe not you know really get connected with him you can take him for granted and those things you can't see if that's how he feels then he can begin to make decisions here that you know what this woman over here i go to her crib and, and she's giving me all kinds of you know appreciation but when i go home my woman is all she's doing is arguing with me all she's doing is complaining all she's doing is, you know, telling me what I'm not good at. She don't even want to have sex with me because she'd rather sleep. I talked about this stuff. I've talked about this stuff. Can you have sex? Yes. Can you have sex unmarried? Yes. Does that make it wrong? No. Can you be reckless with sex? Yes. Does that make it bad? Yes. <laughs> You know, my thing is you got to be, you have to have some type of spirituality. Let me tell you something. If you don't want to hear nothing else, God made sex. Hey, I'm just keeping it 100. God made sex. And if we don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. Man made marriage. So, hey, you know, y'all might be mad at me, but I just have to keep it 100. God made sex. And it's not just for procreation either, because if that's the case, sex would stop after we have children. God created sex. We can be mad all we want. You can be mad at me for saying it. Hey, I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm telling you what it is. You can have sex unmarried. You just don't want to be reckless with sex. Let's let's keep that 100. Don't be reckless out here sleeping with everybody. You hey, he looked at me cute, oh, this and that. Don't be promiscuous. That's just not, that's not healthy for you or the guy or the men that you're with. Don't be promiscuous. That's not okay either. But understand, there are health benefits. And if you don't believe me, look at the elderly women and the elderly men that are, are practicing abstinence. And their gait is off. They're, they're not healthy. They're bitter. You're just looking like, why are you so bitter against men? Like, what's the problem? Ah, men ain't this. Men ain't that. You're looking like, I can't be her. Because when I get 60, I can't be that. And most of y'all ladies that are beautiful, youthful, and you continue to stop having sex for whatever your personal reasons are, hey, that's your prerogative. But I'm telling you, it's healthy for you. And if you can find someone, and I'm not saying you got to run down an aisle, because just because you run down an aisle with a man don't mean he's going to be best for you. Trust me. Trust me. I have been in this game a long time, and I have been married twice. I, I, a, was I married? Yes. Was I not? Happy? You know, there were times I was, there was times I'm not. So at the end of the day, I'm just telling you, it's very important to understand that intimacy is, is, is definitely key. But be, um, be very careful with what you do with your sex. You cannot be reckless. If you're reckless with it, then it's going to cost you. But if you're if you're responsible and and mindful of the person you care about, there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm just trying to get women to see you're going to wait on that ring for years because some men don't want to ha to get married. They don't because they don't want they don't want the obligation, ladies. They don't want to take all that on. They don't. But if they want to love you, take care of you and, 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 and be with you then you know what's wrong with that i'm just saying well i hope you guys 
really appreciate this video share it please because somebody needs to hear this i will stay on this on this uh on this task man my task is to get more and more and more people educated and get them off of this thinking about oh you know this and that and this ain't right i want us to get better here because health is number one and it is a need and if you if you learn quickly and understand that it's not just about the fact that you know someone is caring or whatever it's definitely about understanding there's health benefits there's connection and even if you're angry it, it relieves you from stress all those things don't take my word for it I want you everybody that wants to disagree with me that's fine but I want you to go out and do your research go and look up what's the benefits of sex and once you find that out, you will understand why I said that God created it. All right? All right, I'm out of here. Carla Nicole, signing off.